you know, sometimes you just gotta give yourself a round of applause for doing an absolutely fantastic job sometimes. What a game week three I had. 117,000, you love to see it. 65 points in the bag. Uh, I'm very happy this game week. My team did superbly well. I know missing out on Udoge 12 points hurts a lot, but you know what? I'm happy. I am super happy with this game week. I'm gonna go through my game week three team, see how it did, and go through my game week four team selection. So stay tuned to the end. Be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications so you don't miss any more FBL content from me. Now back to the video. So with Onana, we got zero points there. You hate to see it, especially with Ariello who had five points. Uh, yeah, Man United defenders, what are they doing? Two goals in the first four minutes? <sighs> really, really bad. Yeah, Man United defenders are not doing so well. And yeah, Onana conceded. Two goals conceded, so that's a minus one. And he got a bogus yellow card, in my opinion. There's two balls there. Why is he getting booked with two when there was two balls on the field? It's that's not time wasted at all. Oh, these rest, man. I mean, the rest of this season are going to cost us a lot of points with yellow cards because they're just booking everyone at will nowadays. But hey, oh, it is what it is. You live and learn. It's stupid, Yan. Yeah. What is Brighton doing? West Ham are just on fire as well. Brighton should have done better there, even though West Ham are really, really good at the moment. I mean, and they've got Kudus coming in. Man, West Ham, they are looking so, so good. But yeah, I feel like this... Brian was result is just it's not gonna happen often so I'm still confident in SUB and even though he's got tough game week fixtures so I might I may do something there but uh we'll, we'll see about that that Chelsea defenders you let's go let's go you love to see it Malo Gusto two assists you love to see it that is what you call a differential he was like 3.1 percent ownership uh before game week three and he's got 14 points you love to see it i mean re hopefully reese james stays out the team even though we hope he gets fit but he stays out the team for the time being so gusto can cook for my fpl team that's what you want to see then Chilwell, uh, you know, he's very attacking, Chil kept a clean sheet, which is what you love to see, but he gets so forward, he is pretty much a must-have in FPL, don't have in your team. What are you doing? He's so attacking and can definitely get assists. He should have shot, man. Why didn't he shoot when he was throwing goal? Oh, it would have been elite. It would My defense would have been elite. And if I put Udogi in, oh, it would just... It would have been the perfect game week, but it is what it is. You you take some risks. I do feel I don't regret the choice of going with Estupian. What who knew who knew West Ham was were going to be that good? But you know, it is what it is. The Man United def midfielders, they did so well. Bruno got a penalty. That's why you get penalty takers in your team because they can get results like this. Rashford as well back on the left where he's supposed to be as long as he stays left he will cook an fpl one assist one penalty one which means two assists in fpl you love to see it martinelli not not impressed with him at the moment uh three game weeks in i've not been impressed i was hoping he'd be a slight difference maker but he's not been doing it saka he's on penalties most of the time at least uh he's doing what he needs to do martinelli not so much so i may consider a change there but uh, uh we'll see in burmo you know he didn't get a penalty uh so yeah he didn't cook so it, it's okay and holland what are you doing miss that pen penalty man we could have been so good two goals and most probably three bonus points uh yeah yeah, missed out on that, but you know, it's okay. Ed Watkins, five points. Got another assist. I don't know why people are so hung up on selling Watkins. He, he's delivering. He's delivering. He is cooking FPL. He's cooking b better than most uh, forwards. So I, I just don't feel the need to um, sell him at the moment. And with the fixtures coming up are a little bit easier. Uh, he's got a good run coming up. So uh, I don't feel the need to sell Watkins right now. So yeah, that's how my, how my team did in game week three let me know how you did in game week three in the comments down below so here's what my team is looking like for the moment obviously we've made one switch Ariola comes in against Luton away which is a very favorable fixture especially with their form that they're in instead of Onana who's against Arsenal who are a very tough team now hopefully Arsenal keep experimenting playing high Havertz playing Thomas Party at right back and uh Man United should uh, do pretty well but if they go back to um, how they usually did it last season then they will struggle a bit so yeah you know it is what it is we'll, we'll see how it, how it happens 
weapons uh, arsenal are still threatening regardless of the experimentation so yeah that's gonna be on my team for this you know for transfers uh, i don't know i'm really having a dilemma of between changing one of these midfielders or just simply rolling it like my main thing is yes the man united and arsenal midfielders there's a clash there which probably isn't the most favorable but you know as long as first of all rashford as long as he's like i said he stays on the left he will cook definitely he because he he's more suited to there he cannot play striker he can't hold the ball up and teams usually um sit uh deeper in the defense so there's no space to run in behind so he and he's not the most um uh doesn't have the most aerial presence so it's not a favorable favorable position for rashford so hopefully he stays on the left and he'll continue to cook uh with this result i uh, hopefully tenog will stay stay make him stay on the left bruno uh, it's tough as well i feel like it's 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 gonna be really hard for me to justify getting rid of a penalty taker because they could get penalties um at any given moment like like they did against not four so I, I don't feel inclined to selling him. Martinelli, yeah, yeah, I mean, I could sell Martinelli for sure. He's been underperforming. But to be honest, the next game week fixture in game week five is against Everton away, who are just so dreadful. Uh, there, I feel like there's a lot of points to be gained in that game. So I'm very inclined to keep him. I know, even though I don't really want to at the moment but you know that that game week five fixture man it's just too good it's just too good it's it's just it's salivating it's just right there it's like you're looking at the treasure and you just gotta wait for it uh you just gotta wait uh so i'm less inclined to selling him and in burmo obviously i'm not gonna sell him uh he's been really good and in general and he's on penalty so yeah no need i don't feel a need to make a transfer there and after the newcastle game is a two very good fixture so yeah, the midfield, it's very hard for me to get rid of any of these midfielders. Even though there are a lot of midfielders I do like. Raheem Sterling, what a performance against Luton. Uh, he is definitely an option. Phil Foden is an option. James Madison is an option. Oh, there's just so many great midfielders that you can only have five. It's, it's just so annoying. And obviously, I know some of you may say Watkins, but to be honest... I, I don't really see it. Virgil van Dijk just got red carded as well. So that's that's a massive defender gone. Liverpool's best defender is gone for this game. I don't think that red card will be appealed. So it's a much easier fix. Who, like, who do Liverpool got at the back? Kanate, Matip, Joe Gomez? Oh, come on, man. You, you're, having, you're having me on. You're having me on. Like, Liverpool away, I feel like it will be actually quite a favorable fixture than most people might think so honestly i may just stick with Watkins as well and not and yet and just roll my transfer into game week five i feel like that's a plan obviously things can change but you know for me at this given moment i think it would be best for me to stay as as i am and just roll it for game week five and make a transfer in game week five and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's I think that's the best plan for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you think and how, you, if it's the right decision or not. Let me know. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit those notifications so you don't miss any more FPL content from me. And let me know in the comments down below how you guys did this weekend and what plans you guys are gonna be having for your. Uh, game week four transfers i'd love to hear it so yeah thank you all so much for watching until the next video see ya